Madam Secretary, you uh, came to Europe about a week ago with a message that uh, was believed by the Bush administration to be vitally important to be delivered here. You're now one country about an hour away from your last stop, and I know you're tired. 24 hours from um, your speech at uh, Sciences Po, do you feel like the message has gotten through? Was there a moment, maybe today or earlier, where you felt like uh, the message was coming through? And I'd like to ask President Barroso, we heard many times from Colin Powell very many similar things about the transatlantic relationship. What's the difference now for Europe? In fact, I, I the, the interesting thing to me is that I actually think that um, the message was getting through before I got here. And uh, it was doing so because this is an alliance that understands that its future is one that is common. Um, the times are different now than they were a year ago or two years ago when uh, we did have our differences, not with, not with everyone, but with um, a number of states. And when we didn't have, uh, while we still had uh, common interests and common values, I don't think we had a common agenda for a while on uh, what was really before us, at least in regards to Iraq. But of course, we had continued to cooperate on a whole range of issues. Afghanistan, we were uh, cooperating. The war on terrorism, we were cooperating. Everything from uh, security issues like the Proliferation Security Initiative, all the way out to issues of poverty and uh, poverty alleviation and development and uh, fighting the scourge of AIDS. So we were always cooperating, but we did have on Iraq not a common agenda. We do now have a common agenda, and that is now that the, the war uh, or the, the major military operations are behind us, now that we are facing uh, the fact of an Iraqi people who are taking risks of their own for their democratic future, it's very clear what is ahead of us. I do appreciate very much the openness and the responsiveness of each and every government that I have met here, of the Commission, of NATO. It's been a really great conversation. I feel very good about what we've done here and the conversation that we've had and the promise to continue that dialogue and conversation when President Bush comes. But I also feel good about the concrete steps that have been shown here, the concrete steps that both we and the European Union have made to demonstrate our support for the Palestinian-Israeli uh, rapprochement, whether it is the 250 million euros that uh, Benita just talked about or the 350 million dollars the President talked about in his State of the Union or the security coordinator or the, the, um, the fact that we're going to have a quartet meeting, the concrete uh, measures that people are taking on Iraq to support the political evolution in Iraq and indeed some of the contributions that people talked about making when we were at NATO today. So I do feel that it's been um, a good trip. I enjoyed being at Sciences Po. Um, I believe very strongly that even when we have differences or disagreements, that we have to be able to debate them and discuss them in an open and honest way. After all, uh, democracy itself, which is our most common value, is uh, the process of debate and discussion and overcoming differences. And so it shouldn't be surprising that uh, democracies in their international relations uh, have to do the same things. And I think we've made uh, considerable steps forward over the last, uh, is it seven days, did you say? The la you've lost track, okay, uh, last six days. and. Uh, I think we're going to continue that when President Bush comes.